Welcome to another episode of Block Revision and today I have um, a trade idea section uh, to present you and uh, today's um, idea uh, will be ZIM Integrated Shipping Services um, Limited Stock that is um, accessible on CBOE BZX. So ZIM company is a um, uh, asset light container liner uh, shipping company that uh, has a, has been a huge winner during this uh, um, everything shortage, uh, as I claim. Mm, yeah, so everything uh, had uh, suffered, nearly everything um, had suffered uh, shipping uh, problems uh, in terms of this um, supply chain disruptions. So uh, such companies as uh, ZIM uh, has been mm, a huge winner due to this. So uh, ZIM is a company that has a great um, great uh, fundamentals in terms of uh, such uh, values as operating margin, uh, return on um, equity, return on assets and also cash to debt and um, debt to EBITDA. So uh, EBITDA is at uh, a very good level that is um, uh, putting this uh, stock in a very good position for a long term. Um, Unfortunately for the company, mm, yeah, something um, that is uh, still to be mm, uh, a bit worrisome is equity to asset uh, need to be improved. Uh, that uh, versus industry is at a uh, quite uh, low uh, level, and also debt to equity uh, that need to be uh, removed. Uh, that is also uh, worsening um, uh, comparing to uh, where the company was in the history. So. Um, uh, in the filings uh, prepared by ZIM uh, company, we can also find that uh, in order to mm, uh, get the company out of uh, debt, we need just a one more quarter of uh, uh, net uh, positive uh, cash flow, so net operating cash flow. Um, so it means that uh, yeah, there are mm, lots, uh, uh, lots uh, mm, uh, advantages uh, when it comes to. Um, keeping this uh, company for a long term. So uh, ZIM is in a good company mm, uh, for a long term as I have spoken. Um, let's look at uh, some analysis view. Uh, we can find that average uh, price of a stock for the next year mm, is at uh, 64 with an extension of 74 uh, bucks. Uh, so it's about um, 18 re relatively 18 percent higher than f uh, than uh, current position and uh, about uh, 30 percent uh, higher than it's right now. So it's uh, quite optimistic view for uh, this uh, company. Nevertheless, uh, regarding uh, other metrics, uh, company might be overvalued. Just look at earnings per share for the next year. So uh, right now, after this very good run. Um, at 500 percent for this year and we can find that uh, the projection is lowering in terms of earnings per share that is uh, one of the most important uh, metrics in terms of uh, its growth catalysts um, the other metrics uh, says quarter over quarter it's much more optimistic so um, i would find that uh, with this uh, one to uh, improve uh, earnings per share uh, also might be improved for the uh, for the months to uh, come so it's something that is uh, putting a company uh, in a quite uh, quite mm, risky um, place in terms of uh, our long-term por portfolio uh, by but I would uh, just observe how the uh, situation um, around the world is uh, um uh, is uh, mm, looking and uh, mm, i would uh, adjust um my projections in terms of uh, zim uh whether there are supply chains to problems or not uh, i would put zim um in different categories in terms of whether it's um, uh, good uh, medium term or long term uh, bad so in terms of how um the freight landscape looks we can assume that uh, there's everything that makes uh, the company uh, to continue its 
uptrend and uh, there is nearly nothing that uh, could make uh, this uh, trend to subside anytime soon but right now let's look at technical side of ZIM integrated shipping services company so um, at first we can find that we are right after a very intensive uh, bull run that um, have no signs of slowing down but um, does it really make uh, us in a quite uh, comfortable position in terms of putting a, a buy button uh, so let's look closer at one uh, day chart we can find that uh, as of monday we had this huge uh, gap down that is uh, showing us that uh, the bears are uh, taking over the trades so um, in terms of for our chart we can also find that we have just uh, uh, just um, have uh, mm, crossed uh, through this uh, mm, last confirmed uh, bottom so it means we might be right now entering a possible a bear trend or at least a longer correction so with this to happen right after this uh, very intensive uh, bull run since uh, um, the end of july we can find that right now we are in a more threatening territory so in the hours to come we can find that uh, zim may try to hit uh, the bottom of uh, body of this uh, bear candle um, in order to just confirm that we have um, uh, entered uh, a um, bear uh, trend or a correction so uh, we may expect uh, this uh, mm, stock to get back to this 56.6 uh, .6 level at most in order to mm, reverse mm, a trend right there and then follow back down uh, possible extension of a trade mm, uh, in terms of ZIM um, uh, for the bearish uh, to the bearish side uh, is at uh, 50 bucks so if I'd like to um, uh, try to find um, where the company may stop in terms of its price slump when um, this uh, a bear a trend will um, develop uh, I would just use Fibonacci extension for this uh, if you like to just uh, measure um, the recent uh, move and uh, when we can f where we can find that uh, when uh, it has uh, um, stopped at uh, 0.4 um, Fibonacci extension and uh, if I like to uh, put this um, extension once again and if the pattern uh, will repeat we can find that uh, this extension at uh, 0.4 uh, level is just converging with uh, this line of psychological uh, sub uh, important support at 50 bucks so it's a uh, high very high probability that the mm, price will get right uh, down and there so um, in order to just uh, justify that uh, the price is uh, moving into correction is this very um, very mm, uh, ex extraordinary uh, volume uh, where the bulls were fighting with bears and where a bears uh, were, has finally uh, taken over the opposite side we can find this right now where these candles were high in um, uh, high in extension and uh, right after we can find that uh, one of the side uh, that uh, one of the side that uh, will dominate uh, will dominate for a longer period of time just look at recent um, days uh, trade uh, that happened on 13th and relatively uh, 16th of uh, September has uh, made bears Mm, uh, as dominating side uh, as of uh, recently where bulls couldn't really tackle this recent bear candle and also at uh, that time where the bulls were also weaker than um, than uh, bears a few hours earlier 
So if I'd like to make a, a treat idea um, board output um, trade um, with a, a possible uh, risk reward ratio at uh, over uh, to level with a stop loss right around a uh, 56.8 and with a uh, with a uh, target at uh, around uh, 49.9 so it's um, not not so uh, much um, not very very high risk reward ratio but um, in terms of um, probability of uh, the trade going lower is uh, for me uh, something that um, is um, putting me in a quite comfortable position in terms of uh, this um, bet. So um, as ZIM uh, is uh, is uh, mm, in the longer horizon, still in a uptrend, I wouldn't um, find uh, as of right now uh, this stock to get lower than 50 bucks, uh, but uh, the 50 bucks might be maintained. So I would approach mm, uh, this this uh, first target as of uh, 49.9 as quite mm, uh, rational. And in terms of uh, trading uh, mm, or entrance idea, um, idea so uh, entrance area as of right now is right around around these levels of 56.6 uh, 56.8 and also uh, 54 if the uh, price will exceed any of these uh, limits, I wouldn't find um, the trade uh, to be mm, uh, this trade to be uh, valid, and uh, just look for another chance. So ZIM is a company that right now is probably uh, moving into uh, higher um, correction, and uh, if you're looking for mm, higher risk reward ratio, you can. Um, wait for uh, the company to approach higher level than we are at right now. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for uh, watching. If you have uh, any questions, just put it in the comment section below the video. And um, see you the next time.